Hello, hello. Hello, my fellow Vermonters. Guess what? When you vote this primary election, whether you vote on a write-in ballot or go to the polls in August, there are three ballots to choose from. Now, the Democrats and Republicans have mostly just one candidate on each ballot. The progressives have no candidate for United States Senator. So I'm asking you to give me a write-in vote for United States Senator. My name is Chris Erickson. That's spelled Chris with no H, C-R-I-S, Erickson with no K, E-R-I-C-S-O-N. So grab a pen and a paper right now, or a pencil and a paper. Use your chalkboard in the kitchen. Write down Chris Erickson. So when you go to the polls, you know who's going to win the Democrat primary for United States Senator. There's only one candidate. You know who's going to win the Republican candidate for United States Senator. There's only one candidate. Take the progressive party ballot. Take the progressive party ballot. Let's get some progress going in Vermont. On the progressive party ballot, there is no candidate for United States Senator. Write in Chris Erickson. Now I'm going to tell you why. I am the best candidate that you can send on down to Washington, D.C., I'm going to bring back more federal tax dollars for child care, for health care, and for housing. And I'm going to explain to you in detail exactly how I'm going to accomplish that. I have a plan that none of the other candidates, the, none of the Republican or Democrat candidates have this plan. I have the best plan to bring more federal tax dollars from Washington, D.C., back to Vermont. Just send me on down there and I'm going to get the money. Now, let us let me give you a very, very brief rundown. And then after that, we're going to go into detail. First of all, for a very brief rundown, you know when you pay your federal taxes, they go to the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. And then the United States, United States Congress takes your federal tax dollars and they vote to give some of them to the NIH, the National Institute of Health. The National Institute of Health sends out your federal tax dollars, your hard-earned money, out to universities and laboratories for research, design, and development of new prescription drugs and medical products. The pharmaceutical corporations are allowed to sell these worldwide and they make billions in profit. But their billions in profit is based on the fact that your hard-earned tax dollars paid for the research design and development. So you deserve ROI, return on investment of your taxpayer dollars. I'm going to explain that in much greater detail. Now, also, number two, your federal tax dollars go to the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. Then the United States Congress votes to give them to the Pentagon. The Pentagon hands out your hard-earned tax dollars to the defense corporations. The defense corporations sell bombs and drones and bullets and guns and all kinds of military devices worldwide to our allies. The defense corporations make billions and billions of dollars in profits, but their profits are based on the initial investment of our hard-earned tax dollars. So where's our ROI? Where is our return on investment of taxpayer dollars. Number three, subsidies to corporations. 
Lots of corporations get big subsidies. What does that mean? That means you pay your hard-earned tax dollars out of your paycheck. They go to the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. And then the United States Congress votes to give your hard-earned tax dollars to big corporations as subsidies, whether it's subsidies for making solar power or subsidies for making electric cars or subsidies for making microchips. All of those corporations sell those products worldwide for billions and billions and billions of dollars in profits. Where is your share? Where is your ROI, your re return on investment of your taxpayer dollars? If you don't get a return on your investment of taxpayer dollars, what happens? The low income people get poorer. The rich get richer. This whole scheme of using your tax dollars to make the rich richer has got to stop. We have to demand ROI, return on investment of our taxpayer dollars. Now, the other candidates will say all kinds of things about the poor getting poorer and the rich getting richer, but they don't have a plan to make that stop. I do. And that's why you should give me a write-in vote on the progressive party ballot. There's a couple more issues that I'm going to go into in detail. For example, we have legal medical marijuana and legal recreational cannabis in the state of Vermont. But a man in Rutland, Vermont was fired from his job and then denied some unemployment benefits because he used medical marijuana at home. He did not use medical marijuana at work. He used it at home, but he was drug tested at work because he, his employer received some federal funding. So if you work for an employer that received some federal funding, or if you work for a nonprofit that received some federal funding, then you could be at risk of being required to take a drug test at work. And if you test positive for recreational cannabis or medical marijuana, you could be fired. Now, this is a test case. The ACLU helped this man to bring the case to the Vermont Supreme Court. They heard the case on May 29th but it takes months and months sometimes for the Vermont Supreme Court to make a ruling on a case. So they could delay making a ruling until after the election. So we need to talk about this now. We need to talk about it right now. We need to make recreational cannabis and marijuana legal under federal law so people are not entrapped. Now, the next thing we need to mention, it's new in the news, is the Supreme Court is granting types of immunity to the Hello, I'm Chris Erickson, and on the Progressive Party ballot, there is no candidate for United States Senator, so I would like you to write in my name, Chris Erickson. And right now, because I'm running for U.S. Senator as a write-in candidate, I want to talk to you about the taxes taken out of your paycheck because you work really hard here in Vermont and you need to know where your taxes are going and why your taxes are so high and what I'm going to do if I'm elected to the United States Senate to help you out. All right, so Vermonters work hard and they have to take care of their families and they have to pay for child care and all kinds of people are working in Vermont really hard at all kinds of jobs and then taxes are taken out of your paycheck and they go to the IRS and you need to understand your paycheck 
there's federal withholding and there's social security and there's Medicare. There's all kinds of things taken out of your paycheck. And that money goes to the IRS. The IRS is down the street from the White House. And then the folks at the United States Congress vote on how to spend your hard-earned taxpayer dollars. Now, one thing they do is give them to the NIH, the National Institute of Health. The National Institute of Health hands out the money for research, design, and development of new prescription drugs and medical devices. And when they do that, the lead researcher ends up being allowed to own the patent rights under the Bay Dole Act of 1980, which, if you elect me, I will work very hard to repeal. Because what happens is the lead researcher makes deals with the big pharmaceutical corporations, and they go around the world and they sell the new prescription drugs and me medical devices for billions of dollars in profits. Their value on the stock exchange goes up. But where's your piece of the pie? Your tax dollars paid for the research, design, and development. You didn't get a share of the profits. Why didn't you get a piece of the pie? Let's talk more. Vermonters work really hard. Vermonters work hard at all kinds of jobs. Then, tax dollars are taken out of your paycheck and sent to the IRS, and they take federal withholding, Social Security, Medicare. The IRS is down the street from the White House, right there in Washington, D.C., and the folks at the United States Congress, House and Senate, vote on how to spend your taxpayer dollars. Now, they're sending some to the Pentagon. They're sending billions and billions and billions of dollars to the Pentagon, and the Pentagon hands them out to the defense contractors. They sit in their boardrooms and dream up ways to spend your tax dollars on new jets, new missiles, all kinds of bullets and guns and weapons. And then the CEOs, the executives of the defense corporations fly around the world and sell those defense products to our allies for billions of dollars in profits. The defense corporation value goes up on the New York Stock Exchange. Where is your piece of the pie? You paid for this. This is paid for by your taxpayer dollars. So why is it that the defense corporations get all the profit and you don't get a slice of the pie? Back to work in Vermont, working really hard back in Vermont. Everybody's working hard. You got to pay for child care out of your paycheck. You have to have food to eat. But some of the dollars you earn from your paycheck are taken and sent to the IRS. Let's talk about that again. Federal withholding, Social Security, Medicare, all to the IRS. It's down the street from the White House. And then the folks at the United States Congress, House, and Senate are voting to spend your taxpayer dollars. Oops, now how are they spending them? Grants.gov. Guess what? Those nonprofits in Vermont, the nonprofits with the people who think they're so nice and they're trying to tell you that they get their donations from the hearts of Vermonters. Well, most of those nonprofits are getting your taxpayer dollars. 
because those nonprofits apply to grants.gov and they get your taxpayer dollars. So if you go to a nonprofit asking for help, they already have part of your paycheck. What else is the U.S. Congress voting to give your money for? Subsidies. The United States Congress is voting to give your hard-earned tax dollars as subsidies to huge corporations. Huge, enormous corporations get your taxpayer dollars as subsidies. And they sit around in the boardroom and dream up how they're going to spend your taxpayer dollars. And they make microchips. And they make electric cars and charging stations. They make solar panels. And the executives, the CEOs of the corporations, fly around the world and sell these products for billions of dollars in profits. And then they go take a vacation on their yacht. Did they invite you on the yacht? No. You didn't get a piece of the pie. Why not? Your hard-earned tax dollars went to the IRS. The Congress voted to give billions in subsidies to the big corporations, and you didn't even get invited for a ride on the yacht. Now, the Progressive Party ballot has no candidate for U.S. Senator. That's blank, so I want you to write in my name, Chris Erickson. Take the Progressive Party ballot in the 2024 primary election in Vermont and write in Chris Erickson for United States Center. Senator. Thank you. Please share this. My website is vt2024.com. vt2024.com. And there I am, and I'm talking to you now. And I want you to remember this video and share it with everyone. Thank you very much.